हेलो दिस इज एस इंडी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर फर्स्ट इयर इंजीनियरिंग इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स आय डॉक्टर चौधरी विवेक सीताराम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इयर इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट नाउ टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट द स्ट्रॉडिंजर्स टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट वेव इक्वेशन स्ट्रॉडिंजर्स टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट वेव इक्वेशन as we had studied in the previous video lectures and previous series that is schrodinger's time dependent and time independent equation so schrodinger's wave equation we have learned so in most situations in time dependent so in most situations potential energy is a function of position as well as time so in the equation there is a term on the right side that is i h cross delta psi by delta t so that's why it is time dependent but where there in the schrodinger's time independent there is no such a term delta psi by delta t or with respect to time that's why it is independent in several situations potential energy is a function of position alone and doesn't depend upon time schrodinger's time independent equation is also known as steady state equations now its derivation consider a system stationary stationary waves associated with a particle moving with velocity v so psi is the function of space and time b the wave function the differential equation of three dimensional wave motion is given by delta 2 psi by delta t square is equal to v square delta 2 psi by delta x square plus delta 2 psi by delta y square plus delta 2 psi by delta z square which is equal to v square del square psi del is a operator the solution of the above equation is of the form psi is the wave function so psi is the function of sinusoidally psi is equal to psi 0 sin of omega t where omega is the angular frequency so psi 0 sin of twice pi theta t so if we differentiate it we get the psi 0 2 pi theta cos of theta t again so from this if we again differentiate delta 2 delta 2 psi by delta t square at the last we get minus 4 pi square v square upon lambda square psi on equating equation 1 and 3 what we come to know and also del square psi plus 4 pi square plus uh, upon lambda square into psi is equal to 0 and similar will be del square psi plus 4 pi square m square v square upon h cross h square psi is equal to 0 as, as we know total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy so kinetic energy of moving particle is one of mv square and potential energy consider v so here it will be e minus v one of mv square is equal to so mv m square v square is equal to twice m into e minus v so if we put it in the above equation then substituting for m square v square our equations will become del square psi plus 4 pi square upon h square twice m into bracket e minus v of psi is equal to 0 so by rearranging this so del square psi plus twice m upon h square twice m upon h cross square e minus v of psi is equal to 0 where h is a Hamiltonian operator so how this Hamiltonian operator so if we put minus h cross square upon twice m del square plus v is equal to capital H so h psi is equal to e psi so for free particle v is equal to 0 so the above Schrodinger equation reduces e psi is equal to minus h cross square upon twice m del square psi for a free particle so now what are the applications why we are going to study the Schrodinger's time independent time independent wave equation now consider a particle in a box or in an infinite potential well what happens particle is present in this this well is of infinite depth it is having infinite now what are its distribution so now its potential now its potential energy is equal to zero between um, means outside this well it is having zero and elsewhere it is infinite so using schrodinger's time independent equation we get the following wave function the eigenvalues so psi is equal to under root 2 upon a sin of n pi x upon a where n is equal to 1 2 3 means if we use this so we get the e n is equal to n square pi square h cross square upon twice m square so if we put, draw the wave function and its probability density means 
mod square of psi. So for a psi one, so n is equal to one. It is having the distribution just given over here. So go given over here, and its probability is also having a unit value. But when we put psi is equal to two, it is the wave function both are present. At psi is equal to three, here wave function variation is given for psi is equal to four. But as we know, the probability of finding the particle is always one uh, is always positive and unique value. So probability of finding the particle mod square of psi is positive here also. Though here wave function is negative, but its mod of psi mod square of psi two is positive. Mod square of psi three is positive, and mod square of psi three psi four is also positive. Now, quantum harmonic oscillator. So, what is quantum harmonic oscillator? As we know, v x is equal to one half k x square, where k is the propagation constant, which is equal to m half m omega square x square. Using Schrodinger's time independent wave equation, so we get the value energy E n is equal to n plus one half h cross omega. So, in the pendulum. So quantum harmonic oscillator, the probability of finding the particle that is psi zero, psi one, psi two, psi three, the distribution of this is given. That is energy E zero, energy E one, E two, E three, the distribution of this is given over here. So quantum mechanical tunneling effect. Now when we are observing the particle, and there is a restriction, the particle to move into this. If this is a tunneling effect, so here it is a wall. If particle is allowed to move through this, so what happens? It will be bounced back. It the particle will not be allowed through this wall because it is having no. But if we are observing it through quantum mechanical value, so it can be penetrating value. So it is having that. So there is it can be penetrated. That is probability of finding the particle in the thirds. Okay, so. Depending on this, there are some mathematical uh, uh, MCQs. So, thank you, thank you very much.